I think MakerBot's going to change the world because it really already has. It's the idea that you don't need a lot of training, you just need patience. The fact that anyone could be an inventor, they could be prototyping inventions in their homes, children in elementary school could be making inventions, I think that's the biggest power. Efficiency and iteration and design and low cost, those are cool combinations. The fact that you can almost print at the same speed that you can draw is, I think, the great thing about it. You know, it's, it's, it's completely engineering. I have kids engineering parts, parts that don't exist. There's going to be things they do here, and they're going to get to college, and the teachers are going to go, oh, well, OK, you're good. You know how to do this. This is the box that I keep all my maker buttons in. Receiving the box, I did a, a, I did a little dance, because I was so excited to see the box. Pulled out that extruder. And the first time I put it in, let it go, and it just flew to the machine. I thought it was way cool. I'm an electrical engineer by day, hardware hacker by night. I make miniature furniture with my MakerBot. I made this toilet paper dispenser with my MakerBot. I make cool costume components with my MakerBot. And I teach kids with my MakerBot. And I make the future with my MakerBot. This is the world we're approaching. Everything's at convenience, at your fingertips. Hit print. There you go.